Greetings from the North Atlantic, more specifically the plate boundary between the North American and Eurasian plates. Also a hot spot, but you probably know it by the country name, which is Iceland. Um, I'm up here hiking to the new eruption, the 2022 eruption, and I'd take a break and we've got a great vantage point here of the 2021 eruption. So there was an eruption here uh, in the southwest part of Iceland, I think it was from March to September of 2021. Uh, and you can see all the black lava down there. There's places where you might see some steam coming out. So even though that eruption has ended uh, almost a year ago, um, the rock is a really good insulator. And so as rainwater gets down into it, it's still producing some steam. Um, you can actually see a really nice plume coming down right there and this eruption began similar to the one i'm hiking to the one i'm hiking to that i'll show some more footage of uh, began august 3rd of 2022 and today is the 11th so about a week later um, on the skyline up here we can see this large cone and the way this 2021 eruption evolved is it started out as a fissure eruption so a big crack running through this valley and the lava was being thrown out as kind of clots and blobs of lava for some period of time uh, several weeks and then eventually and this is kind of typical of many fissure eruptions eventually the some of the the crack the fissure itself actually started to get plugged up with lava and so eventually what happens is that fissure eruption ends up uh, being sort of condensed into one central vent where the volcano erupts and that's what's formed this nice kind of fairly large uh, spatter cone uh, excuse me right here on the horizon so uh, i'm probably only looking at a portion of the 2021 lava field um, i know there's more to the north here and i know it's spilled over a little bit to the east as well but thought I'd uh, just show you a little bit of that as we're on our way up. Just hiked up a big hill, a big steep section. There's lots of other lava chasers out here with me. And now it's a real kind of rocky section that we have to go. So that's it for this one. And hopefully the next video will show you the active eruption. All right, we're at the edge of the lava flow. We can see the fissure back there in the distance here in Iceland. Um, and you can see that the flows here are transitioning from pohoihois into sort of slabby pohoihois. So as the, the lava pours outward, um, it cools. And as it cools, it becomes more sticky and viscous. And so the smooth, ropey pohoihois flows uh, start to transition into a ah -ah flows and this intermediate form of flow is what's called slabby pohoihoi. So you can see it's kind of breaking into these big pieces. Occasionally a big slab will kind of get pushed over or broken off. Um, right over here you can see there's actually an active lava channel um, that's flowing out to the north over here. And then we have the, the vent over here that's building the spatter cone in this over in this direction. Sorry for the helicopter noise. It's sort of like non-stop relentless right now. Um, but we're also gonna get a sample of the flow. So um, some things to put on and be aware of. We've got gloves that'll be helpful. And then I actually brought this. Uh, this will actually tell us the temperature of the lava but in places it's kind of going off scale a little bit. So you can see some of the numbers there. So offline, if it goes beyond about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's too, too hot for the instrument. And then even the black stuff over here that looks pretty solidified is still almost 450 to 500 degrees. So, I'm gonna go down and grab a sample here. And really the trick with sampling the lava is just to 
make sure your your skin is pretty well covered so I've got glasses on a beanie and then kind of a simple face mask along with long sleeves and pants so we'll see if this sort of works here I'm trying to find a good spot to grab a piece might just dig in here a little bit when you expose the the fresh surface there. Going for one more. There we go. Let's see if we can get that. Cool water. Cool it and clench it. And then that's a good sample to put the chemistry of the lava because we've quenched it. So there you go. Good to go? Recording!